Today on Cooking with Joe, we are going to learn how to make dirty rice. This recipe is cheap, easy, and very versatile to make. Let's get this started. I've got two pounds of ground beef here. I'm just gonna start chopping it up. We've got our heat on medium high. We just need to brown this beef here. While our ground beef is browning over there, we're gonna make some beef bouillon. We've got our heat here on medium high. Using a teaspoon of this, and we've got four cups of water. So we're gonna get that started. Enjoying some tool today while we cook. Right on. When you brown your ground beef, keep chopping at it into fine pieces. And while that's cooking, let's chop some vegetables. Here are the vegetables I'm using. Onion, bell pepper. You can use any color bell pepper you like. A little bit of celery, some green onion, and some garlic. I've already washed all this up. Let's get to chopping. Now when you cut, you want to make as small pieces as possible. You want really fine pieces so it cooks properly when you put this all together. Here's the secret to peeling garlic. Set the flat of your blade on top of the clove. Put your hand on top of the blade and push down till it crunches. Then the peel should just come right off. Remember to chop your garlic very fine here. I'm using three cloves of garlic. You can use however much you want. I say there's no such thing as too much garlic. The garlic is chopped up. You can always use a garlic powder if you like, but we're not going to do that here today. Let's get our celery chopped up. Again, you want it really fine, so I'm going to cut strips here. Ground beef is all browned up. We just chop it up the rest of the way. Turn the heat off. We'll let that sit while we keep getting the rest of the stuff ready. You can drain it at this point if you want or just transfer the meat out of it into another pot. Bouillon has boiled up. It's ready to go. We're gonna turn the heat down on it and just keep it warm and ready to go. Time to cut up our bell pepper. Just gonna cut the end off there. And here's the trick. Start up here at the bulbous part and cut down. This way you avoid too much of the white part of the pepper, which is not the good part, that's the bitter part. We've avoided the seeds here, and that's just trash. Just like our celery, we're going to want to chop this up pretty fine. So I'll start by slicing it into strips, and then we just chop. You use orange bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, red bell pepper, green bell pepper. Green is some of the more traditional type, and it's certainly cheaper. I'm using orange because it's prettier. Bell pepper's all cut up, so now it's time to cut the onion. Remember, don't cut this part, the root, or the onion will start weeping, releasing all its fumes. So I'm slicing this up pretty thin, and then we're going to chop it real fine. All our veggies are cooked up, so it's time to get started up here. I'm going to set our burner here on medium. I'm going to put tablespoon or two of butter in the pot and then we're going to start putting our veggies in. We've got our vegetables in the pot with just a little pat of butter. We're going to add some of our seasonings here. We're going to use Cajun seasoning and some parsley. How much you put in there is up to you. I don't like to measure. I like to feel parsley. I like to put it out in my hand. I like to use Good bit there. I like to add just a little bit of extra spice, adding just a little bit extra cayenne on top, a little extra salt, black pepper, I'm going to put in two cups of basmati rice. You can use whatever kind of rice you want. Now we're going to pour in our bouillon. You can use chicken bouillon, you can use beef bouillon. I'm using beef. Now that we've got that in there, it's time to kick up the heat. Time to add the ground beef. I'm spooning it out of the pan so I don't have to use a colander to drain the, the ground beef. Mix all this up real good while we wait for it to come to a boil. It's 
So we've got a good rolling boil here on our dirty rice. We're just going to give it another little stir and then we're going to turn down the heat to a simmer. And we're going to put the lid on. And we're going to wait about 20 minutes and then check it, see how it is. Now you might ask yourself, what do I do if I don't have Cajun seasoning? Well, I'm going to show you what to do. Here you go. Cajun seasoning is really just a blend of other spices. What all you put in there is up to you. Salt, pepper, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder. Some people like oregano leaves, cayenne pepper. Some people like to put thyme in there. So it's been 20 minutes, checked our rice, it's almost done. We're just gonna give it a few more minutes, give it a little stir here. We'll check it again in about five minutes. It's been about another five minutes, so let's check this out. Rice looks pretty done. So we're gonna turn off the heat. We're gonna let this sit for about five minutes off the burner and just let that rice, we'll fluff it up with our spoon and then it'll be ready to serve. Our rice has been sitting for a few minutes just to set up give it all a good stir and now it's time for a taste looks beautiful there you go that's dirty rice you can change this recipe up however you want you can use half the beef half the rice you can add more vegetables, you can take out vegetables, you can make this pretty much any way you want, but it's a very simple and easy, good recipe to make. It makes a great side dish. In our house, we like to eat it as the main dish. You do what you want, that's what it's all about. Anyway, this has been Cooking with Joe. Hope you've enjoyed it. Check out some of my baking or other cooking videos, and we'll see you next time.